morning, everyone. Well, morning here anyway. Um, it's probably, I was checking my time here. Ah, it's almost 10 o'clock a.m. here in Northern Ontario. Uh, don't mind me, I'm just kind of, we went from black flies yesterday to mosquito season today with the heat. But uh, I just wanted to show you one of our morning trails here, here in town. Those trails, there's a bunch of them throughout the town. Sorry, I almost walked into a tree. As you can tell, we're still fairly close to town. We have a little feeding station here that I'm going to stop and look at. It doesn't look like there's anything in it. Chances are because there's too many bears. So they're not filling the feeders. But you can hear them. Minus the sirens, of course. But um, this particular trail is called the Scout Rock Trail. And uh, there's large rock and cliff formations all around that allow us to get like some nice scenery. Um, because we live in the boreal forest, oh, sorry, let's keep killing mosquitoes here. Um, because we live in the boreal forest, you'll see mostly pines. You'll find, occasionally see some spruce trees, not in here though. Um, birch and poplar. You also get the occasional willow. But, uh, like I said, you can hear all the birds, and it's migration season, so, man, I really should have worn something long sleeve. That was my mistake. Um, but see, there's some more of the cliffs and rock formations. You'll see a lot of erratics in here. So, but this is one of my town's trails. This goes right through town. Well, it abuts the edge of the town, but there's residential to the left and the right. But I say but a lot. I'm sorry. There's some more cliffs and rocks. So, but this trail does go up right behind the hospital. As you can see, it's getting a little windy. Yay. Get rid of the mosquitoes for a few seconds anyway. We're supposed to be getting a big rainstorm there the next day or two. Oh, dragonfly. Hey, buddy. Eat those mosquitoes. And then there's a lot of like these side trails. I wouldn't want to go down that one. That's pretty much a mud bog at this point. And same with that one. But there's all sorts of branch offs. This isn't even our biggest trail system in town. We have another one called Hersey Lake. And there's over, I'd say, 20 kilometers worth of trails up there. And then we have the Kettle Lakes Provincial Park. And that has a ton of trail systems too. We did those trails last weekend. Well, at least three of them. So. My husband, nephew, and sister-in-law are running ahead of me, literally. They're runners. I'm not. I'm just a fast walker. I'm not even that fast, if you can tell. But I'm mostly just taking my time. Out here for the beauty, the fresh air, and a little bit of fitness. I hear the birds. Don't see them. Got my trusty old faithful just in case. Just kind of hoping to see a grouse or a partridge. Well, not so much partridge. We don't have those here. Most people around our area do call our grouse partridge, but they're two completely different bird species. It would be kind of like, I don't know, calling a moose an elk. Similar family completely different like subspecies sorry I'm, I have a tendency of rambling but I'm trying this here 
without canceling and closing off videos. There's another mini trail. Most likely a snowshoe trail in the winter. A lot of these areas, you can't do much in the summer because they go through bogs. Some more there. Looks like that one might go to a lookout point. There's a huge erratic right there. An erratic is just a boulder that was deposited during the ice age. Oh, it's part of a cliff face. There's the rest of it there behind those trees. We do do get erratics, which as I was saying, are rock formations that were deposited during the ice age when the glaciers were receding. They just kind of plop a rock in the middle of fucking nowhere. Sorry, language. But I'm not gonna crop that out just because that would just be ridiculous and I'd look funny. But uh, yeah, so this is my area. This is one of my hiking trails. He said a lot of people don't use these in the summer because they're scared of bears. Bears are more scared of us. And it's not like we have grizzly bears or anything. We just have little black bears, which are very, you know, timid bears. They pretty much just want dinner and that's about it. All right, guys, I will let you go for now. I've taken about seven minutes of your time. We'll talk again soon. Bye.